Smart fans, news on the giveaway. We have a winner and it was Mr. James Wales whose comment made me chuckle. So thanks, James. He says he's going to read it on his holes. Also, in trying to keep the channel ad-free, I've been asking people to buy me a coffee and somebody did. So thanks, EJ, for buying me a coffee. It stores my faith in humanity. And there you can see I recouped it very quickly while en route to Oxford. And speaking of Oxford, we have the next postgraduate certificate in ecological survey techniques starting in September. I'll be running the face-to-face -face week for that. So if you'd like to sign up, please do as places are limited. On to today's video, and it's a little bit of a throwback. We're going to be looking at installing QGIS 3. There's a couple of bits that I'd like to go over because the install page does have quite a lot of options. And previously I did an install for 2.18, I think. But this time we're looking at installing Q3. So Google's your friend here, and if you just Google QGIS, you will get taken to the download page. And we've got several different installers, and we can install for different platforms as well. So there is Mac OS X installers now. Um, do let me know how you get on with these if you're working with a Mac, because you may need to install Python 3 separately etc. So it can be a little bit trickier installing on Mac, but hopefully the QGIS devs are working on this to make it even easier. So looking at Windows, that's the machine I've got. We have the latest release, which is like the bleeding edge, and we also have the long-term release. Now I prefer working with the long-term releases because generally they're more stable. So I'm just going to save this standalone installer to my folder. I have lots of other iterations of QGIS. Now that this is downloaded, I can just double click it and that should open up the installer. You can see my machine's thinking about it a little bit. It's going to get there eventually. And it looks like we're in. There we go. Okay, so the installer opens up. I'm just going to next through this. I'm going to agree to licenses, terms of agreement, and I'm going to go with the default place to save it. I don't want any of the practice data sets. So I'll just skip through that and we'll see that things start to get unpacked. This might take some time, so you might want to make a cup of tea. Once the setup wizard is done, you can hit finish and then just search in Windows for QGIS. Click on the desktop and that will open up QGIS 3.4. And there we have it. QGIS 3.4 long-term stable release is installed. So that's it, just going through the install process if you need it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We are very close to hitting four figures on subscribers now. So thanks to all of you that have subscribed so far. And don't forget, if you would like to keep the channel ad-free, please do use the PayPal Me link. That would be awesome. Happy mapping.